Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from me. This time I will show you how to play chords on the violin and give some tips on how to play double stops on the violin. If you want to know about the basics of double stops, please check out the video I will link up now in the info box if you are new to double stops. Let me now give you some tips about the bow and the left hand when you want to play double stops. Really important, of course, is the position of the fingers of the left hand. Try to get them as rounded as possible so that the fingertips fall vertically on the string and not horizontally because when you want to play double stops you always will encounter the problem that your finger should not disturb the neighbor strings and the vibration of those so you want the finger to be just on one string in most cases so make sure your fingertips fall vertically on the string and not like this so that they touch more than one string. To achieve that you have to have a good thumb position as always and bend your elbow a little bit under the violin so that your fourth finger can be in a rounded position. Now let me say one thing in combination from the left and the right hand. When you play chords make sure that always your left hand is before your right hand. That means when you change from one double stop to the other that always your left hand is let's say quicker than your right hand because if you don't do that you will have a small transition sound in between this will especially in, in faster tempo sound sloppy always left hand before right hand and try to place both fingers before you really start your next bow in the small pause of the bow change. There is the point where you want to place your fingers. For your bow, there is a common misconception that uh, you need more pressure for double stops. Maybe not really a misconception, but you don't need double the weight. What many people do when they try to play double stops is they play too much on the fingerboard and with too much weight. You can change two parameters to fix this problem. The first parameter is the contact point. You can go a little bit more to the bridge where the string can take more pressure. This is one thing you can do. And also you can stay on the fingerboard and try to make the chord with less pressure. Experiment. What is the common fault in your bow technique when playing chords. Is it too much pressure or is it the wrong contact point? You want it to be at the optimal contact point and you want to have the optimal pressure. When it comes to chords, there are some theories how you should make the arpeggio. You cannot play all the notes really at one time. It is possible for two strings, but it is not really possible for four strings. It's kind of possible for three strings. This is just possible when you play a fortissimo and you are exactly on the right contact point. So if you have three or four string chords, you want to have a concept for your bow in which order you, use, you play the strings. Now we have four strings. The most of the chords are broken from the bottom to the top on the violin. So that should mean for the bow that you play the G, the D, the A and the E string, right? So we have four levels. This would sound like this. This is not really a chord, right? What do you want to change now is quite obvious. You want to start on two strings on the bottom, not on one string. And then you want to end on two strings at the top as well to make it sound more like a chord. This is the concept of playing chords on the violin in general. One more small tip that I can give you 
which helped me a lot to make my chords sound smoother, especially in playing solo Bach. This is the last pair of strings which we haven't covered yet. We played the two strings on the bottom together and the two strings at the top. But there's a pair in the middle as well. And when we think about that pair, we have three levels. One at the bottom, GD, then D and A, and then A and E string. And this way we can make our chords sound much smoother. Let me show you quickly this concept on my whiteboard, because I prepared these two awesome paintings of bridges. I wanted to show you how you should put your bow on the strings. What you can see here, the green dots are the strings. This is the G, D, A and E string. When you now want to play a chord, many people start with the bow like this. The problem here is, when you have your bow just on the G string, you will just hear the G string. And when you want to play a smooth chord, you want from the beginning the level to be not too far away from each other. So you start on both strings, which I can show you here. You have your bow on both strings already, like this one. And also, when you make the movement up to the E string. This end goes down and then you should catch this pair of strings in the middle, with, which is the D and A string. And then in the end we want to land on this pair. Really important that you think in pairs. G, D, D, A and A and E string and not to go one by one and have like this four levels of strings. One more quick tip, when you want to play a chord, you prepare the chord very much from the fingers. So your fingers should be very active when you practice and when you play chords. If you um, don't know how to hold your bow, please check out my video about holding the bow because now for those kind of techniques it's very important to have some strength in those fingers here and also some flexibility. So if you are holding the bow like this right now, you have to do this all with, with your arm and this can be very difficult. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you. Those are just some basic tips which helped me develop my chord playing in solo Bach and in general. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you have a topic which are of interest for you, please write in the comments. Yes, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing the violin. Bye bye.